video that you guys have been waiting for, man. <laughs> guys, okay, so there's really bad news and really good news. Which one do you want me to start with? All right, we'll start with the bad. Before we do, hey, have you noticed my new camera? <laughs> Guys, I look beautiful. You can see my sweat. <laughs> it's like take four right now. All right, so check this out. In my last video, I brought out my main man, Agent Beamstar, and he was telling you guys about 2K support out of control banning the wrong people. Yo, late last night, we got another wave of people being banned. And I can't verify the truth of this because there's a lot of people just taking screenshots and reposting them and lying for no reason. But there were some people saying they were console banned and I was just like, wait, what? I previously, I only thought PlayStation had the ability to console ban people, but I could be wrong. So this is basically the situation and I'm gonna say it out loud and you're gonna be like, it's gotten that bad? Yes. So I placed second place at a park event. Wow, I'm a fantastic player. <laughs> okay, so the guys that placed first place, I played against them at one point, or maybe I know who they are, or maybe they were streaming it and I know they were delaying and I have proof of it. I'll send a ticket to 2K support. 2K support will file a fake investigation and then declare I was wrong and that I was faking it to get the rewards and ban me. The guy that played legit gets banned, the delayers are still kicking it, and, 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 and then you see 2K support ban people for giving away 15k MT and it's like where are your priorities? What is the bigger problem right now guys? I had someone tell, tweet at me saying, Agent, hey, why are you always complaining about delayers, man? It's not even that big of a problem. I'm like, y I hate people like you. I really can't stand people like you. I think people like you need to be thrown on the street and ran over by 15 Aquafina bottles. Dead ass. There's some people on earth, guys, I know, it's gonna be tough to believe, that b genuinely, deep in their heart, believe that if they're not experiencing something, that it doesn't exist. Those are people I call I don't have a name for them, man. I don't talk to people like that. I'm gonna keep it honest. It happens a lot in any competitive environment. If you're a YouTuber, of course it happens even more to you because you're a target. There's not a lot of them, but there doesn't have to be. All it takes is one in a playground to ruin like 70 people's experience. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to argue here. All, I, all I'm trying to say is 2K support, stop banning the wrong people. 2K, you literally have to hire people in 2K support because those guys in the live chat don't know what they're talking about that literally play the game. I need tryhards. When I'm, when I'm hitting up 2K support submitting a ticket, I need the biggest of tryhards there answering my question. I'm talking about the guys who are already 97 overall playing my career day and night. Because when you have these guys that don't know 2K, they're making the wrong decision because they're not informed. They don't have the knowledge. Anyway, I just wanna put that there because the situation continues to escalate. I'ma keep it honest, I was gonna bring Agent Beamstar on for this story, but I've been seeing the love you guys have been showing for him in the comments section and I don't like it. <laughs> Y'all like him more than you like me, man. It's like that, huh? I'ma keep him in the pocket for at least two weeks. All right, so check this out, I have some good news. So I was kicking it in Pro-Am just being bored. That's what I was doing, I was being bored. And it kinda just, came at me like a ton of bricks. And I just thought to myself, how is it two months into NBA 2K19's launch and Pro-Am is literally not playable? Well, I mean, you could play it, yeah, but the one feature everyone was look looking forward to is not working, private matchmaking. So I don't DM Ronnie and Baluba too much because when I do DM them, I want them to respond. I want it to be something important. But I was like, man, I had to DM my man's Mike Wang. I was like, Mike, we literally haven't got an update in a minute. What's going on with Pro-Am? Honestly, like two days went by and I was like, wow, so it's like that, huh? <laughs> Cause anytime you have a lot of followers, if you DM someone or reply to someone, they always get a notification on their phone. So I was just like, man, he didn't even want to reply to me. We just never gonna get the answers we want. It's never gonna be fixed. And I fell into a deep depression. I started playing Black Ops 4, guys. And then, alas, literally the next day, he replied to me and uh, good news. He said, actually, I don't know if he wants me to read out verbatim. Is that allowed? I don't actually know, it's private messages. So let me paraphrase. Basically what he said was a few days ago, they put together a server side update. So on their side of things, they did an update to fix some of the matchmaking issues in Pro-Am. He said, and I quote, the online team is also working on some client side fixes to be released by the next patch. So initially when I heard that, I was like, ah, so we have to wait till patch 1.06 to get the full update so it works properly. But then literally all the tryhards in the Pro-Am community were like, Hey, guys, it's working. Private matchmaking is working, guys. And I was like, whoa, what? What? So immediately I got really, really excited. I got in my prime facility, I made my team, I brought back the game breakers, man, we're gonna go crazy. Started working on my pure sharpshooter. I need that guy ready and prepared for Pro-Am. In my videos, you guys have been seeing me use a play sharp. And of course, my beautiful slashing shot creator. My pure sharp, when that's ready, I'm gonna go crazy. As I told you guys a million times, 
Pro-Am is the game mode I am most excited for in 2K19. And weirdly enough, I am enjoying Park way more than I did in 2K18. And so I didn't even have any immediate need to go to Pro-Am this year. I fixed my latency issue by using a VPN, so I'm not complaining about that 24-7. So it's it like, yo, take this in. We have good news in the NBA 2K community. And I know that the good news is that a, a game mode that should have been working at launch didn't work for two months, but now it's working. But you know, like, is I'm, is this sad that I'm getting excited about that? It's pretty sad. Cause for any other game, it would be like a oh, belt time. Belt time, you finally fixed the issue. But on 2K, we're like, oh, oh my God, guys, take a look, man, it works. I don't know why it was so complicated. I don't think private matchmaking is a particularly confusing issue. Cause I haven't seen any other dev team on any other game get it wrong. <laughs> Part of me believes that like 2K, tasked like one person and they gave him like two hours a day to allocate to fixing the issue. <laughs> but yeah, so the bad news is you could potentially get banned for something you definitely didn't do. And the good news is, well, private matchmaking works. So the whole pro-am scene that literally died in a fire, like nobody was playing that, is definitely gonna arise from the ashes. Tournaments are gonna start popping out of nowhere. And I, hmm, I got some plans, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just say I got some plans. So I definitely wanna get in my reps on Pro-Am because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new to it. From what I understand, there's not much different from 18 aside from the gameplay differences. Hey, that's where I'm gonna end the video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you missed my 2K18 Prime videos, they were some of my favorite videos I've ever uploaded and all of them did well. I'll leave a playlist here, watch this video here, click the card above, like, subscribe. If you don't do at least all of those things, I'll, I will find you. And don't make me find you. That was that a threat? No, that was definitely, guys, just do it if you want to. Bye.